All right, you know, my instincts. God damn my instincts, you know. Well, I'm glad they're never wrong because if my instincts were ever wrong, then I would have to, uh, I'd have to really assess my life, my whole life. And I would have to come to terms with the fact that I wasn't really connected to my light. That would be hard for me. And that would be really hard for me. So I'm grateful that my instincts work and they're always right. There's times I've not listened to them though, or, or like, I kind of would sense it and feel it, but I would go against it because my mind would convince me that maybe this isn't my instinct. Maybe it's not really my instinct. Maybe this is just something else, right? Because, you know, it's not always easy uh, to trust something 100% all the time, all the time, all the time. And I'm a little bit of a tester as well, too. So, like, if something is leading me there, I'm going to go for it, even if my instincts are kind of whatever, as long as I think it's worth it, as long as I think that it's something that I can do relatively safely, I guess. Um, cause I know that I can always go back and be like, oh yeah, my instincts told me all along. Okay. And I've done that. I've done that. I've done that with situations and stuff before. And my instincts have always been right though. My initial instincts have always been right in every circumstance of my life. So <clears throat> I read a book years and years and years ago called light medicine of the future. And it was all about light all about light, sunlight, light, uh, light bulbs, all about light. The good, the bad, the, the, the intricacies, it's fascinating, fascinating. So I'm no stranger to the concept of the healing power of sunlight and um, that we are light beings and that we, uh, we are actually using this light to fuel existence on this planet. Okay, like I've always known that. Well, I mean, you know, I've known it for many, 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 many years, not new to this concept and magnetism and earthing and all of that. I've had my own personal experience with the energies of the earth and all of that. So again, I am not naive to any of this stuff. And lately I've been getting into the heliotherapy and earthing a lot more because I am just deeply drawn to it in my own personal journey. And I've been listening to a lot of people and I started to notice some serious red flags in the sunlight world, okay? Um, meaning the ones that are bubbling up to the surface. I'm not saying everybody, okay? But I'm saying the main figures that are bubbling up to the surface and end up rubbing elbows with some political figures, okay? So, my first instinct prior to the knowledge that this person was in bed with a certain political figure, which means in bed with the mob. Let's just be clear, okay? That's what it means. In bed with the mob, fucking every day. Remember, I said this in my other video about CERN and NASA, okay? They're not just in bed together. They're doing the deed 24 seven, every day, all right? And humanity is completely asleep to this. And I watched, this was, this was a, quite a while ago, I watched a video where somebody was interviewing this guy. I'm not even going to say his name. I posted something about it on my community page. So you can just go look, you'll, you'll see it there. I'm not going to say it in the video. Okay. And I instantly was repulsed by this man. Absolutely disgusted, like vomit worthy, like literally vomit. Like I could almost taste it in my throat. And I'm like, I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. I really don't like this guy. And I made a comment on the channel and I, I wasn't like, I don't think that I was like explosive, but I just made a comment that, yeah, I don't like him. He's arrogant. He says a lot of stupid shit. His light information is spot on though, like spot on. Like I, it's everything that I've learned and it's everything that I deeply sense and know, but there was all this other shit that was like, Mm -mm. and his personality and his attitude is horrible like horrible and his energy is awful his energy is really really bad and again there's lots of bad people who you can't like really feel their energy too much because um oh my god they're like masters of deception but this guy isn't a master of deception <laughs> it's actually like really easy to spot that he's just an a-hole um and i just couldn't even listen to his stuff 
I literally could not even listen to his stuff. He's repulsive. And there's people that I've listened to whose stuff I do like who are connected to him. And I'm like, are they, are they not? Are they, are they not? Are they naive? Are they just dumb? Are they ignorant? Like, oh, do they not see it? Do they not see it? And I really wanted to believe that they were good. I really want to believe it. Um, but I think that I'm being a little naive now, even though, again, I, I'm always, I'm always neutral. I'm always neutral. And if I am committed to something and I realize that, wow, my instincts did not warn me of this. I'm willing to jump. I'm willing to jump. I am not clinging to things. I'm not clinging to anything. I don't cling to anything in my life. Nothing. If I grow from it and I awaken to the truth, I move on because I've been duped by things before for sure. For sure. Where my instincts just weren't, I weren't feeling them. I just wasn't feeling the instincts. Like with veganism. And then I got nailed in the head with that. Literally. Literally. So sometimes my instincts are, are weak. They're really not anymore. They have been ramped up probably over the last 10 years exponentially. Like exponentially. But I think for like a lot of us, we have instincts and they work and sometimes they work really, really good. And sometimes it's a little bit dim. Remember, it's kind of like a dimmer switch. Sometimes that dimmer switch is turned all the way up and sometimes it's turned all the way down. And sometimes somebody clicked off the button. Somebody shut that dimmer switch off. Okay, so sometimes it's like that. But when my instincts work and they're on, they work. And... It's so clearly obvious to me now, okay, uh, that he absolutely is controlled opposition. And what really did it for me was, boom, when he said where he went to school and when he started doing this research and what he was surrounded by. And I was like, I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And then I found out that he did an interview with RFK Jr. And that was it for me. I knew. I knew. And again, they're all pushing the digital tokenization. They're all pushing the digital reality. Okay, so... Wake the fuck up, people. Wake up, wake up, wake up. So the sunlight information is great. And I think, you know, that's that's valuable information um, that everything else is steering people in a direction that uh, is not for our benefit. Remember, human DNA is upgrading. We are expanding. We're leaving this matrix. We're not fixing it. There's no digital system going to fix this fucking matrix, okay? Not going to happen. Not going to happen. I'm not opposed to technology. I'm not opposed to it at all. I'm not opposed to digital. I'm not even opposed to AI, okay? But what I am opposed to are the controlling forces that are in control of all of this because they're bad as fuck, okay? They have very ill intentions for humanity. They want to turn us all into cyborgs and they want the majority of people to leave the planet, okay? So, which I think a lot of people are going to leave the planet regardless, <laughs> regardless of which forces inhabit this planet because... Um, there's too many people right now that just don't want to, they don't want to wake up. But from their perspective, uh, they just don't want to have to control as many people, as many humans. And from the other perspective is that those that are embracing their light, the only way that they can experience a beautiful reality is if everybody is on board with that. If everybody is on the same ship, with the same goal, with the same vision, paddling in the same direction, okay? It's the only way. It's the only way, okay? So any solution that they propose is to keep people trapped in this cyborg matrix reality that is really coming on strong, okay? So if this is the first video of mine that you've watched, you definitely wanna watch some of my other videos, especially a lot of the recent ones that I've published because I'm talking a lot about CERN and uh, the political clown show and you know all of the actors and the lies and you know, what's really going on, what's really, really going on. And this isn't just me saying it. It's not my theory. It's fucking obvious. And it's there. Go look. Like, go look. It's not even hard. NASA has a genome research center. What do you think they've been up to? NASA is part of the military, which is where CRISPR technology comes from. CERN is trying to rip holes in the ether of the planet and smash particles together known as the God particles. What the fuck are they doing? Seriously, people, it's all there. It's all there. Go to Twisted Bio Labs. 
website, although everything is vague now. They've reworded all of their stuff over the past couple of years. They used to spell it out for you and tell you what their program was to literally synthetically re-edit humanity, get rid of humanity's DNA and put artificial intelligence and synthetic DNA into humans. They've been telling us, this isn't me. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Okay, this is all just freaking real. It's real and people need to get their head out of the fucking toilet. Okay, the system has been trying to drown you and it's time for you to save yourself. So there's some humans that are waking up and some that are not going to. Do you know which one you are? Signing out.